Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Uh, here's another video in everyday science category. So uh, in this video, we are going to understand why does wood float on water? So uh, this is one question that is something that strikes every child at least once before they get to understand this. So in this video, I'm going to clear all your doubts uh, regarding this topic. So let's start. To understand this, you need to understand this term called density. So uh, friends, density can be defined as uh, mass per unit volume, that is m upon b. So uh, here uh, in this picture, you can see that in the first one, the particles are very closely packed and they are denser and that is why they have high density. And uh, in the second one, you can see that the particles are very loosely packed and uh, the density is very less and hence making it less denser. So uh, now let us see uh, what is the density of water and what is the density of wood. Uh, so the density of water is uh, 1 gram per centimeter cube. And when we talk about wood, then there are different types of wood and uh, the density varies. But almost all of them have their respective densities less than 1 gram per centimeter cube. Uh, so friends, the main thing is that uh, anything that is less denser than water will definitely float on water and anything that has density more than that of water will sink. Friends, uh, having understood this, uh, I would like to ask you, what do you think about ice? Uh, yes, they also float on water and the reason behind is that when water freezes, the particles are far away from each other as compared to liquid water making it less denser than liquid water. So uh, that is the reason why ice also floats on water. So that's all for this video and do subscribe for more videos and also leave a comment if you want me to make any video on any particular topic.